A double header this weekend, Wickham at home on Monday, but Lincoln away before that. Has there been a benefit in that game at Exeter being called off 45 minutes early? I think we'll only find that out tomorrow at three o'clock. Um, you know, people say we only play 45 minutes, but if you play 45 minutes on a real heavy surface, it, it can take a lot out of the legs. So it is what it is. It's, we'd have preferred to get the game finished. So we have to fit that in on a Tuesday night, but um, it wasn't to be. So two tough games coming up, Lincoln and Wickham, and, um, and we have to be ready for both of them. Time is over the last month. You've been scrambling to get 18 fit players. You did have 18 at Exeter. Do you have 18 for, for Lincoln? We should have. We should have. Obviously, Dale Bennett is uh, he's still on the treatment tail from a table from a, a bad ankle injury last week. So, um, we should have enough players for tomorrow. And Lincoln, you'll know well from your duels with them in the National League. Is it, is it fair to say that there has been a little bit of niggle between the clubs in the past? Um, I don't know. Not niggle it's just I don't get too involved in that they do what they do so it's a good football club it's got good players it's got good fans and, and we do what we do and uh, we try and conduct ourselves in the right manner and in every in every circumstance and um, try and do it like that are you setting a sort of a target over the next half a dozen games or so or are you, or are you just taking it one at a time at the moment because obviously you want to get out of the bottom two as soon as you can I think it's important that we take every game on its own merits and every game as it comes, you know, a different task and different challenge in every game. So it's important that we deal with Lincoln first. We know it's going to be a very tough game. Like I say, they've got some really good experienced players and um, we'll have to be at our best to, to get anything. And it's a good challenge for the players to go and test themselves. Once we get beyond Wickham, you have Dale Grubb available. You also have Alex Whittle available, who you've brought in from York. Why did you want to bring him up into the Football League? Alex Whittle. Well, we needed competition for, for, for Dan Wishart and the left, left wing back position. We needed someone with real pace and aggressiveness going forward. And that's what Alex um, gives us. He's a player that we liked last year. And, um, and we managed to, to get him out of York. So but he's one that, like I say, puts, put, keeps Wishart on his toes and uh, will provide cover. And he'll be one. Or Dale Grubb and, and Alex Whittle will be the two of quite a few players that will be coming in in January. You think you will be busy? Yeah, we have to be busy. We make no bones or about that. We have to recruit and we have to bring some players into the, into their existing squad to give us a, a lift. Are you looking both up the pyramid and down? Obviously, you've brought two in from below, but clearly you'd like to bring some from further up, I take it? No, we're looking up the, the pyramid. There'll be some signings that hopefully if they... If they if if they go through, that will be really good signings for our football club, and then people will be probably saying that's not a bad signing. So that's what we're looking at. Mark, um, Danny Cale has spoken today about your team will have an advantage um, tomorrow based on the fact that your game was abandoned at half time. Do you agree with that, or is that just for mind games? Uh, sports scientist now is he? So um, I don't listen. I don't. Is what it is. We played 45 minutes on a really heavy pitch. Um, we haven't been out of train since because of the weather down here. So let's see what happens tomorrow. You must have been sort of pleased with that 45 minutes. That was a, it. Was a, a notch up from the previous game. Yeah, we picked a team that we knew would have a right go and um, and compete, and and we did that, and uh, and we looked we looked okay the other day, and uh, I'm you know I'm I'm convinced we'd have got a result if. If the game had played for ninety minutes, yeah, the game against Lincoln will go ahead unless there's a sort of freak rainstorm or snowstorm. But the pitch here for New Year's Day looks a bit saturated. Are you confident New Year's Day will go? Not looking at it today. See, it's uh, it's underwater at the moment. There's so there's no covers on it, so that that's uh, it's looking dodgy at the minute. Yeah. You talked about players coming in. There, will there be players going out? Yeah, there have to be. There's a, was always the plan. There'll be some players that have found it tough since they came, and uh, and there'll be some real quality acquisitions coming in. Yeah, and the players going out would that be permanent or uh, loans for them? It depends what interest there is in them. You know, if it might have to be loan, if it's permanent, it's permanent. But I can't determine that. That's that's down to how they've performed and, and what clubs 
for interest. And are those players that will go out, are they aware that they're going? Uh, not yet, but they probably they might have half an idea. Okay, cheers, Mark. Cheers. Thank you.